So Richard Battieri, I go back with you many, many years. Yes. Welcome to West Play, the playwright's Dream Tree Project. Glad to be here. Thanks. So Richard, I have a question. I love the play No More Riders, and, and I wanted to know, why did you write this play? I think uh, two reasons. One was a friend of mine had seen the movie The Perfect Storm, and he said, look at that script. That script shows you the future of writers is going to be that they could just put a bunch of ideas into a computer and program. And I said, wow, you know, this is going to be a future where storytelling is just going to take all these different elements, put it into a computer and be a story. The other thing is, I think we've been heading there anyway, because the note giving and television writing, because now what's happening, people go to school to learn how to write TV and film and playwriting. So it's the same generation of writers. And they're used to being given notes. They're, they're given notes. So what they're being told is that your idea isn't that good, but our committee of people together is a good idea. So No More Writers basically is going to be about the, the individual specific artist as a writer. Um, and it is a satire. I'm hoping it never happens. But I do believe that we're heading towards that direction. The writers are going to be irreplaceable or probably um, they would like to get rid of us, <laughs> ultimately. So that brings me really to a second question. Where do you see theater today? Um, I think theater now is opera. Uh, it has as much, much influence on uh, the, the culture as opera. Uh, nobody goes to a play now and says, oh my god, I just, I just saw Death of a Salesman. Death of a Salesman was written 60 years ago. Okay, that, that kind of play isn't being written. And there's a few reasons. One, um, a lot of these young playwrights go to universities, so they're from an upper middle class, and um, th their their scope of experience, I find, because I teach in these universities, is pretty is pretty minimal to the to, to the majority of people in culture uh, in our society. So I don't find people writing plays anymore about people who actually have jobs or plays about um, people who actually have lives that aren't in the theater. There's so many plays about the theater, and um, I think that's one reason. I think number two, real estate in New York City is becoming impossible for a theater to actually exist because you know it, it's cost so much money not only to put a play on um, but promote a play because you're going up against Broadway, you know where they're spending ten, twenty million dollars. So, and and I think the last reason is the nonprofit theaters are specifically producing the same kind of plays over and over again. What kind of plays? Plays, once again, that are self-referential, plays that... Um, I was criticized the other day by a Broadway uh, producer who told me my, my, my plays are thematically global. And that's why sometimes um, she's not interested in my play. And I said, well, what does that mean? And she says, well, you write about issues, and you write about regular people, and that's not really what is being produced. So. I think that's part of the problem, and I think also nonprofit theaters put on plays that they don't have to sell tickets to because they're already funded. So if you don't have to sell tickets, you don't have to put on plays that anybody wants to see. Um, so I would love to get rid of the nonprofit status. I also think buying a season is a terrible idea. Who goes and buys something that they don't know what it is? So I think that whole thing is like bargain hunting. Let me go find a, a season for a hundred bucks and then like I don't have to see three of the four plays. So theater, and, and my last argument is why can't film give non, be given nonprofit status? Um, I mean the public theater just spent $40 million on a bar. That $40 million could have produced 40 playwrights, two week run with nice productions in New York. Instead they put it into a bar, okay? The Atlantic Theater Company just put 40 million into renovating their theater, but they don't even own the building. So your tax money, my tax money is being spent on nonprofit status, um, of the nonprofit theaters that we don't even go see their plays. So I think the theater has become irrelevant. It is irrelevant. And yet you write plays. I write plays for one thing, is because as my good friend Israel Harvard said, the theater will sustain itself because actors want to act. And I love working with actors, also slowly becoming one myself over the years and being a director. I love working with actors. Peter O'Toole said that theater is an art form of dialogue, and I love writing dialogue. You don't get to write dialogue in television and film like you do in theater or in fiction, and I write all of them. 
So that's the reason I do. But I am of an older generation. So the younger generation, I keep telling them, you're all corrupted by television anyway. Bad TV network. <laughs> and that's why a lot of a lot of Tim in a place, and that's the big thing now, and there's some wonderful writing in Tim in a place, but a lot of them are skits. And a lot of them are TV skits. And that has been influenced by Saturday Night Live. So the theater I grew up on, once again, all my sons, not a perfect play, but about a moral issue, I don't see being produced anymore. So let me ask you, what do you tell young playwrights? I tell them, write your plays, but I'll tell you one thing, I had a young playwright friend come to me the other day, he's 30, he won a major playwriting award, and he says, I'm not writing plays anymore. And his reason being, and he also says something really sad, I will never get to write a great play, because I can't get my plays produced. And you only learn writing uh, plays uh, by getting them produced. The other thing that's happening today, and he, he brought this point up, so many young playwrights don't want productions. They want readings. They want to be in development. They're afraid of productions because they don't know what actors do. They don't know what directors do. They don't know what an audience expe expects. And they don't even know their own rights when it comes to producers. I've been told this by several young playwrights, and they're in their 30s when I say young, that they don't like productions. They all prefer readings. Amazing. Well, I, listen, this has been a great, great thank you. interview. Um, I hope you're enjoying yourself with us at West Play. Yes, terrific actors. Terrific actors, a terrific group of plays. It's going to be fun. Great. All right, then. Thanks so much. Thank you.